Happy Friday, Ronchar Ranchers. I hope everybody had a wonderful week. And if you're from the Western New York area, I hope that you were able to enjoy the absolutely gorgeous weather that we've had the last three days. Unfortunately, today, the wind is blowing and it's bringing change with it. So we're gonna get cold again. But uh, we've lost the majority of our snow and we've moved into mud season. But that's okay. Cause that means that spring is, spring is trying to get here. So as I told you last uh, week, um, we have been trying to get Barney to take his antibiotics and find something that he will actually consume. And what we have found is that he will actually eat baby food that's the flavor of apples. I don't know if it's the consistency because it's, it's so liquidy, but we've been putting it in his food. And as you can see, he's been gobbling it up. So, um, we were giving him a little bit of time with the uh, baby food applesauce to make sure that he liked it and just got used to it in his uh, food. And the next step will be to add the uh, antibiotics. So um, he doesn't sound as nasally as he has uh, previously. So maybe what little antibiotics that he did get into him uh, did something. Um, obviously it's not the full dose and obviously we need to keep, um, we keep, have to keep using it. Um, you know, we have to get it on board, but once he does, um, you know, then we'll, then we'll feel comfortable that uh, his infection has been uh, cleared up. But, uh, Lisa, um, he can't eat um, things like apples, you know, whole apples or cut up apples or anything like that, and carrots. Um, he just doesn't have the, um, the teeth to do it with, um, and we're concerned with choking. So um, everything has to be um, kind of pureed um, and super, super soft for him. So... Um, We'll try, uh, we'll try the applesauce, the baby food applesauce, and, and hopefully that will work. Um, what I'm concerned with is that he's not going to like the texture once the uh, powdered antibiotics get in there. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. Um, other than that, he has been enjoying the very, very warm weather. He's been sunbathing. He actually was laying out earlier this afternoon uh, before the wind started to kick up. Um, and once the wind kicks up, then he, he stays uh, really in the barn. Because um, I can't even imagine what the uh, wind sounds like to him. Um, Louie, as you saw this week, uh, has been uh, full of himself. Today was no different. I think with the wind, he got... Uh, he got a a bit of energy and he was he looked actually like he was dancing. I wish I would have been able to uh gotten video of it, but he was he was doing all these weird steps and he was uh moving his body. He he really looked like he was uh he was dancing to something that was uh something that was going on in his head, but it was super super cute. One of these days, I'll get him dancing. Uh, Gabby has been doing well. Um, she actually kicked her boot off last night. Um, so I took the opportunity to, to take it inside and let it uh, dry off a little bit before I put it back on tomorrow. Um, but she's doing... Let's see if we can see her. There she is. There's Gabby girl. She always likes to eat on the patio. Um, she's been doing well. 
Um, because of the warm weather, we have been we were able to uh, do some treatment on her skin. Um, so we're excited about that. Hopefully, we'll start uh, we'll start to see some good results on that. Oh, thanks, Lori. You know, it's a it's a process with him. He uh, yeah, we're talking about you. Uh, he keeps us on our toes. You know, he's um, he's an incredibly intelligent horse uh, with an incredibly strong mind. And, you know, when he puts his mind to something and he doesn't want to do it, you know, he's going to make us work to figure out um, what we need to do to get him to do what we want to do. So, uh, but thank you, Lori. Um, yeah, fingers crossed that he takes his medication as well for us, too. Y'all done, buddy boy? Uh, so as I was saying, Gabby uh, took her um, uh, took her boot off. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that back on. Um, other than that, there's not been um, not been a whole lot going on. Um, you know, the big thing for us has been the the snow melting because, as you can see. Does it, well, there you go. It, you know, it turns mud. Um, the good thing with the, um, the good thing about the wind is that it really does dry things out faster. Um, and that helps. Um, the bad thing is that it really does, um, upset Barney. And to some extent it upsets, um, Gabby as well. Um, she's not as bad. She'll she'll tolerate a whole heck of a lot more than Barney will. Um, Barney, unfortunately, you know, once it starts whipping, he's in here. You're rubbing your face, buddy. So um, I see that uh, a lot of people have been uh, enjoying the uh, article we posted about um, how horses communicate with each other. Um, I'm glad to see. I like to be uh, educational um, as well as giving updates on the horses. So uh, we're going to keep up with that, um, those type of articles. Um, if you haven't seen the article, you can always go to our page, Ronchar Ranch Rescue. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? What? You saying hi to everybody? RonchaRanchRescue.org. Um, and you can um, read lots of the articles that we have up there. So one of the things that Barney has learned, hi, buddy boy, is that... Um, after he is done eating that there is more food in the <laughs> in the tack room for Louie. And uh actually, oops, careful, don't bump your head. The other day, he uh he actually walked into the tack room and I had to stop him. So, um that that's a first for him that he has not done that before and um it's actually kind of while we don't want him doing it it's um nice to see that he trusts enough that he feels comfortable enough to to walk in there because he knows enough hi buddy he knows enough that it is a um it is it's an enclosed space and he is not one to like uh you know being confined um, in that kind of situation, you know, he's, he was fine going on a trailer, but, uh, it was, uh, it was incredibly interesting that, <laughs> Lori, you're so funny. <laughs> you could kiss the screen if you want to. Here, you want a muzzle shot? I'll give you, here. There you go. Best part of the horse. Right there on the muzzle. He wants it scratched, but... <laughs> But there you go. There was your, there's your muzzle shot. Go ahead, kiss away. <laughs> um, 
he, but like I said, whoop, 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 whoop. Easy, buddy. He, um, you know, he walked on a trailer find, but he's not, uh, he's not, um, he's not one to like walk into that kind of enclosure is what I'm trying to say. Hi, other Lori. Yep, he, lo he loves his scratches. And of course, you know, um, with the sunlight changing, you know, getting longer days, um, they're starting to shed. So yes, they do in love, they do enjoy the scratches because then they can get a grooming session. <laughs> You're welcome, the other Lori, anytime. <laughs> um, yeah, so the one who's shedding the most right now is actually Charlie. And um, he is a weird shedder because he is white portion of his body. Um, for those that don't know, uh, Charlie is my personal horse. And uh, he is black and white, uh, Percheron Cross. And uh, his white sheds out much earlier than the black portion of him. It's kind of it's kind of weird. Um, so <laughs> at some point in the in the spring, I'll show you guys how his white portion of him is going to be much shorter than his uh, black portion of him. So it's a uh, whoop, easy, buddy. There you go. He sometimes doesn't know how big he is. So there's, there's Gabby girl. That's the other thing that she's been doing. Since the snow has uh, gone away, she goes on, she goes on adventures. She goes and uh, tries to find some grass, I'm thinking. Um, the other thing that happens in the spring with the horses is that I, th I think they get tired of eating the hay, honestly. Because what they end up doing is um, they go and search for grass and they kind of stick their nose up on the hay. So uh, that's, that's what Gabby's doing right now. So like I said, you can see that she is, uh, she is much more tolerant of the, the wind and everything than Barney is because Barney made a huge circle and now he's back in here. So, um, let's see if we can see real quick what the other crew is doing. Excuse me if I lose internet because it's windy. There's Lulu. So as you can see, Louie, uh, Louie has been rolling and, uh, enjoying the mud. So, uh. So he's he's a little mud ball, actually. Hi, baby girl. They uh. Wanna say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. So um, yeah. So he he enjoys a mud ball in the afternoon. Where are you going, buddy? I just gotta watch behind me because Barney's moving around. You going, girl? You want to scratch? So, whoops, sorry. So, um, as you can see, we put his uh, boots back on. Um, he actually enjoys having his boots on and will pick his feet up for us to, to have them put on. Um, so he is, um, he is, he is doing well. Um, unfortunately, after his little, uh, spring fever spurt, his zoomies, um, he was really sore the next day. Um, so I don't know if, um, if anybody plays sports, um, but, um, I used to, and I was the same way. Um, I had a, uh, I had a serious knee injury. That while I was playing, um, I could I could tolerate it. Um, however, the next day I paid for it dearly. Um, so that's kind of what reminded what Louie reminded me of that is that you know when you get the adrenaline is going, you kind of put the pain to the side. 
um, but the next day you sure as heck feel it so um, you know I've said it a couple times we're still um, waiting for um, the weather to cooperate so that we can do some x-rays on him and uh, and make sure that um, Hi, Gabby girl. He's silly. She's trying to steal Louie's food. You have a whole pile right here, babes. You gonna try and eat that? You're such a goofball. Well, anyway, um, Charlie and Roni must be um, on the other side. I know that Charlie is definitely eating in the in the barn. Um, I'm not quite sure what Roni's doing over there, but I'll I'll go and see and uh, make sure that uh, everything is copacetic over there. But other than that, that's it from the ranch. Um, I hope that uh, everybody has a, a nice weekend. Uh, communication. I'm specifically going to do one on uh, Barney and Gabby and discussing how uh, two visually impaired horses uh, communicate with each other. Um, I think it's a pretty good article. I, I think you guys will like it too. Um, so that's going to be uh, a couple of weeks out. Anyway, Ronchar Ranchers, um, we will talk to you next week. Be safe and be well.